So over here I have my OneDrive installed on my desktop and I'm going to go around and access it from my Explorer window right here from the left side. So over here you can see that I have my files right here and now what I want to do is let's say access out personal vault. Let me just go around over here and change out the view right here just like this to maybe Lars icon and you can see personal vault is here. If I were to go around and double click, then you can see it says uh, this is a place uh, where important files are stored. And inside of the web version, it does require you to verify your account. And over here, while you're, uh, you have your OneDrive installed on your computer, you have to do the same. So if I were to click on next right here, it says we're almost done setting up your personal vault. So you need to go around and allow this as you can see right here. And once you do that, you can see that it um, uh, tells you that you have to verify your identity. So I'm just going to go around over here and click on this and say verify your identity right here, just like this. And then I'm, um, uh, and then what I need to do is type in my email address. So let me just go around over here, type in my email address as it actually says right here. So this is YouTube channel at gmail.com for my Gmail right here. So once I do that, I'm going to go around and click on send code and let's see what happens. So you can see that it is sending the code right here and it says if this Gmail address is correct, then uh, uh, a code will be sent. So now I need to go around onto my inbox and then get the code and enter it out right here. And over here, I have received a security code as you can see. So I'm just going to go around and copy this and then I'm going to go around and paste it over here and press verify uh, just like this. So once you do that, you can see that um, it sets up the personal vault right here. And it is my first time running the personal vault. And that is why it is saying that it might take a few moments right here. And you can see that it's step 7 out of 14 right here. So you got to wait a while for this. Um, and once it's done, then you, you get on to the next step. So that is the personal vault is opened up as you can see right here. So this is your personal vault and you have access to it right here. So I can go ahead and then let's say, for example, create a new document over here and it'll be saved in the personal vault. And over here, the personal vault is opened up. So uh, if I were to wait around uh, for 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, then it'll go around and close out once again right here. So but for now, you can see that it is opened up. So if I were to go around over here, uh, just like this, you can see that this is what you have. You got your personal vault opened up right here and you can access out the files over here just like this. But let's say I want to close up the personal vault manually. Then I can go around over here and go to OneDrive and you can see that lock personal vault is an option. And once you click on it, the personal vault is logged once again. So if I were to go around on to open folder, you got personal vo uh, vault that is logged. So let me just go around on to Lars icons and you can see the logged icon over here as well. So if I were to double click it, now you need to go around with the verification process once more to open that up. In my case, I'm going to go around and enter out my pin right here. It is asking out my pin as you can see. And as I enter my pin, you can see that it opens it up directly. So I don't need to go around and go through the entire uh, uh, logging into my other email account, and, um, um, other email account and so forth right here. You can just reuse your Windows uh, pin code to get access to your vault as well. And that is one of the benefit of having the app installed on your computer itself. And that is how you can access our personal vault on Microsoft Windows uh, with the OneDrive. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.